Okay, I think we are just meeting on Matthew to join us. He contacted me and said he is okay being a facilitator today. Just as, as a reminder, if you're a new member or if you have an update, please provide your name. If you are a member of the SIG with a role, please include the role after your name. Good day. Sorry, uh, could I confirm that my audio is coming through? Yep, you're all good. Yep, you're all good. Awesome, thank you. Pardon, I had myself on mute for 30 seconds. I feel silly. Uh, so <laughs> take two. Good day, everyone. Welcome to this week's uh, CNCF SIG Security uh, Weekly Meeting. I'm just going to just post a link to the meeting docs. And I meant to do that to everyone. Clearly, today is not my day. And I'm just going to ask if anyone is able to take over for a scribe role today, essentially meeting minutes slash note taking. If uh, so, there's the link there. And just feel free to jump in. With that said, I'm just going to jump into our today's agenda. And I believe Emily has some topics to cover. So I'll largely do defer to her to take the lead today. So let's Hi. see. We got. Let's see, we got the attendance and items here. Okay, so I'm just looking at the uh, SIG slash uh, chair check-ins and there are no updates of that. So I see the one from Emily here on Security Day and Cloud Native Security White Paper. So Emily, would you go grab the mic? Of course. So quick updates, Security Day is still happening. We have over 800, I think 700, over 790 um, folks signed up, which is amazing and actually very awesome that we've got that many people. Um, so I've also heard about the CTF that will be running on Cloud Native Security Day, and it sounds like it's going to be super awesome. So if you um, know of anybody that's interested in a CTF, we're going to be running one that day. All they need to do is join in for Security Day. Um, we'll also be promoting the Security Day event on the CNCF's Twitch channel. So if you're on Twitch or interested or know of folks that want to learn more about it, um, I believe we're doing that next Wednesday, um, about an hour and a half after the meeting or maybe within an hour of the meeting. So that's coming up. And then the Cloud Native Security White Paper, we um, Aradha had mentioned in the chat that she got a lot of compliments on the paper and the quality of the content. So she wanted to pass on kudos to the team. Um, 
but I also wanted to mention that we got over 1200 suggestions, changes, and comments about the document, which more than 80% of them were included or um, had slight tweaks before being included. So really awesome job by the working group to get that done. So the review is officially ended. I'm still waiting on that paragraph from the storage team. They're working diligently on it to get it over to me and I will have it added in. And then we are presenting it to the talk next week during their meeting um, to get buy-in and feedback off of that and next steps. So right now everything is on hold. Um, so those are my updates. Does anybody have any questions about any of those things? Emily, uh, do we have to incorporate these comments before KubeCon? So everything was already merged into the paper. So all of the okay. comments that we got, um, I think you and I know JJ and myself went through the document and started adjudicating several of the comments, but there shouldn't be any of them that are outstanding at this point. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, next up, so today is a working meeting. There's only two things that I have on the agenda. Um, and Brandon said that he could not join us today, but he wanted me to put a reminder out there. Um, the synthesized list of improvements for the security assessment working group are up. Please comment if you are interested in looking at any of the items um, or lead a discussion in any of the particular categories. And that's issue number 167 for anybody that is interested in that. And I will post that in the chat as well as make it available in the doc in just a minute. Um, next up. Uh, you probably have seen changes to the Google Doc for the meetings, and that was at the suggestion of one of our members to make it a little bit easier for scribes to use the document. Um, I don't know that we had anybody sign up to scribe today. Ah, we do. Yes, excellent. Um, so want to make sure that the new format is much easier to use. Um, if it is, great. If not, please provide feedback on the ticket, I believe it's ticket 426. Yeah, on ticket 426 to see how we can improve this and make it easier for everybody to provide comments on our documents. Um, I've also gone through and added in um, upcoming dates of importance for when we're not having meetings. So as of right now, it looks like the next meeting we're going to have is November 11th. We don't have any suggested topics for it. Um, and then that'll be it for the month of November. Does anybody have any questions about the new scribe template in their meeting notes? Sarah graciously went through and removed all of the 2019 meeting notes and moved them separately and linked it. I was, uh, Matthew here, I was just gonna ask on the uh, template, uh, what's the best way for someone to reuse it? Like uh, is the, at the very bottom of the document uh, in the heading section, there's uh, something I think titled meeting templates. And I was wondering, should we just purge everything beneath that and put a new one that's pretty much a copy past of the one we're using today, just so people can copy paste it, page break at the top and put a new one in and keep it in sync? Yeah, so that's a good question. Um, I moved the temp, or I made a template off of um, one of the suggestions and linked it within the document. So if you scroll up above the SIG security meeting for today, you'll see a couple of arrows over link to copy meeting notes template instead of scrolling to the bottom. So if you open that document, it's a blank template that you could just copy in and move over. But open to suggestions, whatever makes it easiest for everybody, if it's scrolling or if there's another option that works best for everybody. Yep, the link sounds, looks good. Uh, it's something we probably invest a couple minutes in every day, but having the new template probably saves a lot more than that. So awesome. Okay, and is Sarah on? I don't see her. Okay, um, well, hopefully Sarah will be able to join us today. I had checked in with her and it, it seemed like she might be able to. So I've been going through a lot of the issues um, to make sure that our members have something that they can work on. We have a um, 
label that we can affix to issues that are like needs help, help wanted, good beginner issues. So going through and starting to review them, if others want to jump in and take a look at them as well and see if there's something that might be good for a new member in the repo to get involved with, that would be super awesome. Um, but also wanted to try to clean up some of our older issues in our queue. And Sarah had submitted a ticket uh, on key elements of trustworthy systems, which is issue number 20. Um, I wanted to see who all was interested in kind of furthering that conversation, determining whether or not it was still a need. My initial look of the Google Doc linked in the ticket that I just dropped into the chat. Looks like it could be a, a follow-up to the white paper and potential new working group for the, for the SIG. So I'm happy to work on the follow-up of the white paper, Emily. Okay, I will tag you on the ticket. Does anybody have any thoughts on the issue? Is this, sorry, I was just quickly reading it. Is this uh, number 20, uh, issue 20? Uh, yes. What was it again? Components of, no, sorry. Uh, key elements of a trustworthy system. That's correct. So is this meant to be like a general, say, uh, guideline or is it more like an official prescription? Like these are sort of some baselines people should uh, cover in general and here are certain tools or whatnot that go into the pieces when designing a distributed infra infrastructure. Like, is it something we sort of uh, would put CNCF Six Security's name on as we endorse this as the way thou shalt uh, set up a baseline distributed system for security? Or is it uh, more, these are best practices? I guess, what's the uh, intended audience of it? So, so that's what's not entirely clear. Um, and Sarah could probably speak a little bit more to it, but I wanted to try to make people aware of it and start having that discussion is I believe it's intended to be a best practices document and more of um, things that you should be considering in your organization. So kind of ref using as a reference. What's different from this and the white paper? So this one looks like it goes into a little bit more detail, but that's also part of the conversation is whether or not the white paper already covers this content and then we can mark this yeah. issue as complete or if there's something else going on that we that we're, we really need to have a separate document for. Uh -huh. I, can, I can add some color to this. Uh, this one was originally uh, when we formed the Safe Working Group, I think this was like the uh, initiation of white paper or structure around like things that we need to think through in terms of white paper. Uh, white paper itself is more of a descriptive thing. Uh, the key elements of trustworthy system uh, should be more aligned with the landscape and should be more of a prescriptive thing. So between white paper and landscape, I think we can probably uh, merge this to be like a one thing, not have to have this separate. So JJ, does that mean that we are talking about really um, high value assets and how do we protect um, critical applications like confidential compute and those kind of um, concepts in this paper as well? Uh, so we, uh, the idea was like the most of the ideas that we had uh, when we put together the key elements <clears throat> were uh, captured in white paper. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't actually try and separate this uh, but the thing that you're mentioning can uh, be somewhat captured in the <clears throat> trustworthy computing landscape. yeah okay landscape so that's what i would do um, yeah i would I'll, I'll add comments to the issue so that to create uh, create some clarity around this and then um, 
if Sarah has anything to add to that, I think it'll be good to follow through on the comment on the issue itself. To make sure I didn't miss your uh, one part earlier, is the intent that this uh, issue 20, that this document would become a section of, say, the white paper at one point, like a chapter prescribed best practices sort of thing? Or long term, would they remain as separate entities, this document plus the white paper? So uh, I would, until we finish landscape, uh, it it might be worthwhile to defer this until we finish landscape because landscape will cover a bunch of what needs to be covered here. And then uh, it's possible that we don't have to do this uh, or we may have a need to do like a best practices uh, based off of the review of white paper and landscape together, right? So uh, I don't know how prescriptive we'll go in the landscape until we finish the landscape. So it might be a bit too early to say. I, uh, I myself fell out of a touch. I was absent for about a month from meetings. The, the landscape, is this essentially a subset of the CNCF interactive landscape, but focused on security or is it our own landscape? And does it use the CNCF landscape engine? Like the nice presentation of here's all the security things you can throw into your store or? Uh, with all the boxes, no. I think uh, Brandon might be able to add more color to what the landscape's gonna uh, look like, but it's more of a, more about the projects, what it solves, uh, and how, do, how does it relate back to the white paper content that we have? Uh, that's the uh, that's the core of what landscape is going to look like. I think, Emily, there should be an issue for landscape, right? Or anything. Let me see if there is an issue for landscape. Yeah, that's actually what I was just looking for. I know we don't have a label for it. Yeah. <laughs> It may exist only in a Google Doc. <laughs> Probably. Well, there is one proposal security landscape iteration to, I think it's issue number three, four, eight. Okay, I see number three, four, eight there. Um, I'll post a link here quickly for everyone in the chat. Okay, so I think I get a better idea of this. Uh, my, this is probably me putting a uh, cart before the horse, so, so let me, I'll bring it up. But um, a number of colleagues uh, noticed have found that in the CNCF interactive landscape is pretty darn nice because they're sort of gives them this first view of what they need for their projects in general know what they don't know and take it from there. So maybe it's a nice little prettification down the road. It could be possible best practices document links into say um, a separate instance of that uh, landscape with just the security focus pieces. You, one needs an ingress controller, one needs say uh, an admission controller, maybe a mutating admission controller, policy enablement, uh, service stuff like that. It, might be a sort of onboarding tool to supplement the work that's already in the uh, lead document. Just my two cents. In my mind, it seems a little bit redundant if we're talking about cloud native security um, with the white paper. At if you look at all the elements in there from a trustworthy system, a lot of those elements are all already talked about in the white paper. Um, it seemed redundant to me, but. <laughs> okay. 
Are there any other points or discussion topics that anyone wants to bring up on this then? The white paper on the uh, landscape document? Uh, so I did post All right. that. I did post that as a feedback on the issue itself, so we can pick it up on the issue if there is anything more to be done there. I think if we more define what the purpose, yeah. originally what that document was supposed to provide, um, maybe there's a, a different purpose there that, that we're not seeing. Yeah, that was exactly my comment there, so we can follow through on the issue. Yeah. Okay, I'll throw a comment in there in the issue. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, I'll drag this one to, to Emily. Are there any additional topics in this thread or all good? No, that was it. I'm very excited we got through like two issues talked about today. Hopefully we can get them <laughs> revived. Awesome. Okay, I'll just quickly jump back here to the, uh, oh boy, I gotta stop opening so many tabs. Okay, pardon for the delay. I didn't see additional updates on the meeting minutes. I was just waiting for the doc to reload. And I don't see any additional check-ins or anything from SIGs or groups. So at the point, I'll just open the floor for anyone that wants to grab the mic or uh, bring up any topics or tickets that need attention. And after that, if there's any new people that would like to introduce themselves, I'll open the floor for that. So anything else anyone wants to bring up? Okay, looks like we're good on that front. A shorter meeting today. Uh, last but not least, are there any uh, new attendees, anyone just listening in or looking to join on with security that would like to quickly introduce themselves? Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll introduce myself. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can, uh, good so, hey. day, Ron. Yes, uh, so my name is Ron Weiler. Uh, like I mentioned in the Slack channel yesterday, uh, I'm a security researcher for almost a decade and I'm a co-founder and the CDO of a stealth mode startup. Uh, and can't wait to contribute to the group. Awesome. Thanks for joining us, Ron. Good to be here. Is there anyone else that'd like to grab the mic, introduce themselves? Any other new attendees today? Hi, um, my name is Marla Weston. I'm over at Intel. And so I'm listening in at this point. Um, I'm trying to get some of our internal people more involved, but sometimes the way you spur that is by getting involved and then dragging them with you. Welcome. Pretty much. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Good to have you. Anyone else uh, want to step up? All right. Looks like that's a wrap for today. Thank you, Emily. And thanks, everyone. And hope everyone has a great week and stay healthy. You too. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, buddy.